The rescuer will use the casualties descender and the second backup device to maintain connections to the safety and working lines while descending with the casualty pass knots in both ropes. In this scenario, before the rescuer can reach the casualty, he must pass the knots in ascent. To pass the knot in the safety rope, the rescuer attaches a second backup device above the knot and removes the original backup device. To pass a knot on the working line, the technician will start by moving the handle to sender above the knot. The rescuer moves up until the chest ascender is at the knot. The rescuer attaches his descender to the working line below the knot to provide security while the chest ascender is moved above the knot. Once the rescuer's chest ascender has passed the knot, the descender is removed and the rescuer continues his ascent to the casualty. The rescuer takes the casualties descender and sling with carabiners. The rescuer moves to a higher position and changes over to descent mode. Short and long connections are made using the casualty sling and spare cow's tail. The rescuer uses his hand to sender and a foot loop to build a counter balance system.
Next, the rescuer stands in the foot loop and pulls upwards on the casualty's harness, raising the casualty enough to enable the chest ascender to be disconnected from the rope and the casualty to be lowered onto the rescuer's descender. The counterbalance system and the casualty's hand ascender and foot loop are then removed. Before descending with the casualty, an additional braking carabiner is introduced to the descent system. The rescuer descends with the casualty until about three feet above the knot in the working rope or eye level with the knot in the safety line. The rescuer repositions the knot in the safety line by tying an alpine butterfly knot, raising and isolating the original knot to just above head height. The second descender is attached to the rescuer and the casualty is then loaded onto the safety line below the new knot. The rescuer has left his backup safety device attached above the knot. It could be transferred to the other rope at this time, since both the rescuer and the casualty are attached to both lines by the two descenders. The rescuers lower onto the second descender with the casualty. A shunt should be kept well above any knot. The descender is locked off and the backup safety device is transferred to the new safety rope. The original descender is removed. The rescuer continues the descent with the casualty, passing the knot on the new safety line with the second backup device. The rescuer carefully descends and brings the casualty to the ground. 